excited because I want to decorate my front porch for fall and I want to show you that you can do it on a budget you could do it for not a lot of money and by thrifting it's really unique and it won't be like anybody else's porch right now. I'll show you what I'm working with and how I'm starting and then I'll bring you along for the process and show you the after. Here's our summer front porch. Things have been getting a little all over with our busy summer projects. We are ready for a fall makeover. In a previous video, I share how I thrift store shop for home decor. I really look for items in five main categories. I look for linens or beautiful fabrics. I look for beautiful artwork. I keep an eye out for baskets or interesting containers. I look for character pieces or just things that catch my eye. And the last thing I look for is collections. There are five things I always look for. Look for the link in the video description to learn more about this. So here is my thrift store haul. I got some really great things and only spent $30. I got really interesting baskets and containers, a really great silver and gold platter that I plan to use on a side table. I found some fabrics that are just really beautiful that I will repurpose. I plan to turn into pillows. I also got a few craft items to make some wreaths. Let's do this.
happy to share my fall front porch with you. It was a lot of fun to put together. Uh, this project started where all my home decor projects start and that's at the thrift store. I don't live anywhere close to a Walmart or a Home Goods. Those are hours away, so that's not even an option for me. So these DIY projects are, are really a great way to not only save money, but create something beautiful when you just don't have access to a lot of options. The last thing I did to pull together this thrifty fall front porch makeover is I took a walk. I went out to nature, I collected grasses and dried flowers and ferns and leaves, and I put them together to make handmade wreaths. And I put little flowers and stems here and there to just add a lot of texture and natural beauty. I was able to get a whole basket of sweet little pumpkins and gourds from my mom's garden. And so I scattered those here and there. I think the overall look is really natural and kind of eclectic, really warm, cozy, and inviting. Thank you so much for joining me today. As always, make sure you hit the like subscribe, share it with all your friends. I'd really appreciate it. I think you're really going to like this video right here if you want to learn all about how to make these beautiful handmade wreaths. Check this video right here and I'll teach you how to make these fall stenciled signs. Thank you so much for being here. Happy fall and I'll see you next week.